hi again welcome to our next in the series of pep mathematics questions compiled by techno teacher ja welcome to the next question in our series we are doing pep mathematics and we are at number 10 now out of 150 questions we are now at number 10 out of 150 questions this question says what is the value of 7 in the numeral 1 7 3 1 2 2 0 again the question is what is the value of 7 in the numeral 1 7 3 1 2 2 0 okay do you know about numerals do you know about numbers do you know the do you know how to call a number name when you see figures do you know the number in words and when you see numbers in words do you know how to write them down as figures if you don't you can check my video on a gsat and pep mathematics summary part 8 check my video named gsat and pep mathematics summary part 8 in that in that video you will learn how to call numbers and how to write numbers okay so check that video and then come back to this video to see if you know the answer to this question so give yourself a minute read over the question see if you know the answer and give yourself a minute to come up with the answer you may pause the video you may pause this video if you'd like and resume it to hear my answer
Okay. So, what was your answer? Did you come up with the answer? Did you get the answer? Did you get the correct answer? Okay, let's explain this answer that I have on the screen. The question again says, what is the value of 7 in the numeral 1, 7, 3, 1, 2, 2, 0? And the choices are A, 7, 0, 0, 0. B, 7, C, seven zero 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 and D seven zero 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 again the choices are A seven zero 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 B seven C seven zero 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 and d seven zero 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 okay based off the zeros i will call the numbers again using not saying zeros this time i say thousands or so on so the choices are a 7,000 B 7 C 70,000 and D 700,000 Again A 7,000 B 7 C 70,000 and D 700,000 Okay so, I hope you had watched video 8, GSAT and Maths, GSAT and PEP, Mathematics Summary Part 8, right? You had watched GSAT and, you, you had watched my video, GSAT and PEP, Mathematics Summary Part 8, that, that would have helped you with answering this question if you don't know how to answer it okay so as i had said in that video let's start from the back and count three numbers let's group them in threes let's group let's group the number in threes starting from the back okay so the last three numbers are two two zero two two zero those are the last three numbers, 220. Put a comma between them. Then count the other three numbers. That's 731. 731. Put a comma in front of the 7. So you put a comma in front of the 7 and in front of the first two. So the second set of numbers is 731. So what you have here now, there are no more sets of threes. So what we have here. Are is what we have here is one comma seven three one comma two two zero okay again what we have here is one comma seven three one two two zero now let's call the number the first one that is one in the those that is one in the millions position millions millions the second set of threes that is seven three one seven three one is thousands seven three one is thousands so that is seven three one thousands okay seven three one thousands and then the last set would be two two zero two two zero okay let's call the number okay let's start from the back two two zero two two zero is what the zero is zero ones zero ones the first two is two tens two tens or twenty okay two tens or twenty and the first two is 
200s 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 so that first at the back the, that number at the back 220 is 220 220 is 220 220 is 220 now let's go over to 731 731 that would be in the thousands position 731 thousands okay that is in the thousands position now let's break it down into ones tens and hundreds ones tens and hundreds the one is one thousand okay one thousand or let's call it ones let's call it one for now so the one is one or one ones one ones the three is three tens three tens three tens or thirty three tens or thirty and the seven is seven hundreds seven hundreds so that is seven hundred and thirty one seven hundred and thirty one seven hundred and thirty one what thousands seven hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred and thirty one thousand okay so 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 far we have seven hundred and thirty one thousand two hundred and twenty seven hundred and thirty one thousand two hundred and twenty and now finally that one in the front is what one we have said it before that is one million one million okay so the number then is one million seven hundred and thirty one thousand two hundred and twenty one million seven hundred and thirty one thousand two hundred and twenty one million seven hundred and thirty one thousand two hundred and twenty okay so the question had asked what is the value of seven in the number what is the value of the seven in the number that was seven hundred thousand seven hundred thousand because the number was seven hundred and thirty one thousand okay seven hundred and thirty one thousand so the seven is seven hundred thousand seven hundred thousand so the answer then is seven hundred thousand that would make it D the answer is D seven hundred thousand so again the question and answer what is the value of seven in the numeral one seven three one two two zero what is the value of seven in the numeral one seven three one two two zero the answer seven hundred thousand seven hundred thousand again seven hundred thousand okay so give yourself a while to look back at the question and look look back at my answer maybe replay the video if you'd like to make sure that you understand the answer understand the question and understand the answer so give yourself a minute to understand the answer
subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos that are available on YouTube as soon as they become available so go ahead and click that subscribe button it's free like and subscribe and also you're invited to share my videos so you, when you when you subscribe when I upload a video for instance if I if the video you are watching is social studies part 2 when I upload social studies part 3 you will get a notification on your computer right away that I have uploaded social studies part 3 and you can go ahead and see the video so go ahead click that subscribe button right now Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.